I found out that my mom has been lying about why my dad abandoned me 15 years ago. I don't know how to move forward. For most of my life I was just raised by my mother, since my father left us when I was three, and we are very close. My mom has always been vague about the details of the divorce, just that it was very painful and sudden, and that he never had interest in getting custody of me. A couple months ago I was going through documents looking for my birth certificate, and I came across their divorce papers. Surprisingly, my mom was listed as the one who filed for divorce, contradicting her story that he left us. I figured there must have been a reason for this, like him being abusive, but I know that my mom is sensitive about the topic so I didn't want to bring it up. I asked my aunt, her sister, but I was just told to drop it. It's been bugging me, so I found him on Facebook. His profile was completely private, but his profile picture showed him with a little boy, who must be my brother. I found his business email online, and against my better judgment I emailed him asking if he would like to meet for coffee. He agreed. Last week we met, and he was completely not what I was expecting. He was thrilled to see me, almost cried, and wanted to hear everything I had been up to for the past 15 years. I asked why he left, and that's when I got his side of the story. Towards the end of their marriage, my father confessed to my mom that he is bisexual, and that during high school and college he had a serious boyfriend. He was ashamed of his sexuality, which was why he hid it from my more traditional mom. My mom was angry, but didn't divorce him because of it. After the divorce he began dating his boyfriend again, and my mom freaked out over me being exposed to this. My mom petitioned for full custody, and was granted it. Over the years my father has attempted to reach out to my mom about me, but she has never budged. I asked my mom about what really happened, no bullshit. I told her dad's side of the story, and she tearfully admitted that it was true. She insists it was not out of anger or bigotry, but because she genuinely believed that it was best for me to stay with her. I am just so shocked still. She lied to me for years, making me think my own father did not want me. My dad and I are reconnecting now, but I have missed so much. Next week I am going to meet his husband and my seven-year-old brother. I live with my mom, but I can't speak to her right now. She is begging me to forgive her, but I'm so angry and I don't know how I'll ever not be angry with her. I've never been in your situation, but one thing I'd suggest, given such a big event happening to you, is to give yourself time and allow yourself to not to have to make any decisions for a while. I'm so sorry that happened to you. Something kind of similar happened, where my mother kept me from my father and lied about it to me for years. Kids are not pawns. When I finally found out the truth, I was so upset that I wasn't able to have her in my life. I called her out, of course she denied it. And that combination of things made me want nothing to do with her. Your mom not only hid it from you, sounds like your whole family knowingly did. This is so messed up. Traditional presumably as a euphemism for religious enough to make a huge thing about a past same-sex relationship. Modern enough to get a divorce. How convenient. I don't know how to say this, so I'll just be blunt. Your mom hated him more than she loved you. Your pain was an acceptable price for her to hurt him. I'm so sorry. She insists it was not out of anger or bigotry, but because she genuinely believed that it was best for me to stay with her. Utter bullshit. Tell her to list the reasons why he was so unfit to parent she had to lie like this. I guarantee she'll dance circles around the truth to avoid looking like a bigot. She lied to me for years, making me think my own father did not want me. You have enough here that you would be justified in cutting all contact with your mom if you want to go that route. For her to deny you the ability to see your dad for 15 years is despicable of her. Read about parental alienation. I was a victim too but different circumstances. I'm so sorry you're going through this. My parents divorced when I was six and my sister nine. My parents were incompatible regardless, but it was finally over when my dad gained the courage to live his life as a gay man. I'm 42 now. My mom tried to poison my sister and I against my dad. 
It worked a fair amount on my sister but all I cared about was that my dad loved me and was an amazing dad. While I'm cordial with my mom, I have never been able to fully forgive her for trying to deny me my dad's love and attention. I will be thinking of you. You have every right to be angry with her. What she did to you was awful. I'd say before you can forgive her she needs to actually admit what she did wrong. She's denying she was a bigot, yet her only excuse for doing such a horrible thing seems to be nothing more than biphobia. If she still thinks it's what was best, then she is still a bigot and she needs to acknowledge that. I would absolutely seek out professional help to figure your way through this, it's too much to deal with on your own. Dude. You and him got robbed of 15 years. That's ice cold. I don't have any advice for you in regard to your mom, but spend as much time as you can with your dad from here on out, I guess. I dunno, I'm high as shit. She insists it was not out of anger or bigotry, but because she genuinely believed that it was best for me to stay with her. She believed it was best for you to stay with her because of her bigotry. Do what feels right to you, OP, don't consider anything but what you need to happen in order to move on. From the outside, we people on the internet can't give you the perfect advice. We can only give you what we think is the right advice. As you can see, we're not all in agreement. But I have missed so much. My dude. Neither of you ever have to miss any part of each other's life ever again. 3. Enjoy it for a bit. That's hard but honestly he could have contacted the court at any time for visitation. I can't even imagine not talking to my kids in that longer period, to be honest I would kidnap them before just being gone. So I don't think I would give him a full pass but family's about working through things so I would enjoy both sides of your family. So, I am curious about this if he was paying child support, he was in the legal right to go to court and tell them the mother was withholding his rights. Edit maybe this is something to follow up on? Bigots genuinely believe in their bigoted opinions, and they genuinely believe that they are not bigots. Fifteen years ago was 2004. If it was 1960 you might have been able to accept her position as a product of her time, but it wasn't. She then went on to lie to you about it for 15 years. Good on you for finding him. I'm not going to say cut off contact with her or something stupid family is family. But you deserve to be angry with her for however long you feel it, and you deserve to tell her the reason for your anger. Don't accept explanations or excuses. Wait for a sincere apology. Damn remind me 122 days. It is rare that a parent has absolutely zero rights, zero weekends, holidays, supervised visits even of some sort. What is the explanation for the court withholding even one day a month year with his kid? Or even scheduled phone calls? I think there is more to the story your father is not sharing. She insists it was not out of anger or bigotry. Cough bullshit cough. She genuinely believed that it was best for me to stay with her. Because she didn't want you exposed to a homosexuality. Sounds like bigotry to me. Did she give you a reason aside from homophobia? Wait you never said why your mom divorced your dad. Not sure how giving your child abandonment issues and feelings of being unwanted and unloved is better than the truth in this case. I don't think she was making the choice for your best interest and that you should start thinking about what's best for yourself. I'm currently 25 and met my dad for the first time about four years ago. When we met he was pretty quick to blame everything on my mum and make himself out as the victim. I left the breakfast pretty pissed off at my mum but let my emotions calm down and thought over the things he said. With time it quickly became apparent he was full of shit and I ended up telling him to never contact me again. Regardless of what really happened please take time before making any decisions. Remember that everyone is the hero of their own story and everyone makes mistakes. I agree with a lot of the compassionate words people have posted here, and the idea to forgive her, and that you have to feel your feelings and process this in a way that works for you. All that, yes. But maybe consider having compassion for another human being an imperfect one, like all of us someone who is begging your forgiveness. Did she intend to harm you? Does she want to love you? 
holding on to pain will only burn you. What you choose to do from here is your future and their future. The past was, perhaps, a mistake. But the future begins now. Good luck.